You're watching Good Stuff. Now, you might think that good comedy is an art. Well, now we're going to meet three super sharp American comics who believe it's actually a science. If you need the answer to any philosophical question whatsoever, these are your men. They call themselves Modern Problems in Science, and Mel Smith thinks they're a hoot. Welcome to this special Good Stuff presentation of Modern Problems in Science. We are, of course, the world's only completely improvised university course, and what we do is take a suggestion of a completely absurd scientific hypothesis from the audience and prove that to be true over the course of an hour. For example, we would do something like pretty things fall faster than ugly things. But tonight, and tonight only, for television, we will be proving something in one and a half minutes. I have the topic hermetically sealed in my hands right now, and I'm about to open it. We've never seen this topic before. Never. Never before done. Live on television. John Major is invisible. John yes. Major is invisible. I am your professor of... Physical education. I am your professor of domestic science. I am your professor of pottery. Here we go. Many people don't realize that housewives are the invisible members of our society. Seldom seen, but often treasured. I'll be honest with you, I'm not, I'm not the biggest fan of improvisation, per se. I'm really not. Um, but the fact that they're going... I mean, the idea being that they're trying to get towards some very logical conclusion to a very complex, and usually pretty stupid kind of premise... Um, means that they have to really, really kind of keep pursuing it. We all know, however, that our Prime Minister, the Prime Minister of most nations, are in terrible, terrible physical condition. Therefore, we need to get them to exercise faster on a more regular basis to start doing push-ups to actually sweat. When they start to sweat, of course, they will, in fact, actually then become, reflect more light and become partially invisible as the light reflects off them. But as any good housewife can tell you, the more you sweat, the more you need to relax and go in and have a bath. And I would say that John Major is a very, very stressed out, very stressed out prime minister right now. And he doesn't seem to bathe frequently enough. He needs to make a few mugs and, and to relax himself and sort of just go on the pottery wheel and just have a nice good time. Uh, I kind of prefer scripts. I feel much happier with scripts, you know, a bit old fashioned like that, you know what I mean? But. Uh, I wouldn't know. I mean, I would not begin to attempt to do it myself. And this, what these guys do, is just... Uh, it's too terrifying for words. It's like walking on a highway. And the reason that housewives say that you must bathe if one sweats is because the more you sweat, the more energy you lose. Right. And, and the less you fill that back up with further energy... And, and you lose yourself in the energy process. Hence, you're not uh, visible to the other person. Yes, one of the principles of, phys of uh, physical education, of course, is there was a conservation of matter and energy. The more uh, energy he exhibits, the less matter he has for himself, so the more energy he exhibits running the country, the less uh, matter he has in his body, he disappears. As far as improvisation goes, I say it's not my favorite kind of area usually. It's far and away the most extraordinary thing I've ever seen. I think they're brilliant. I really do.